Hey y'all, it's Paula with Hillbilly Orchids. Welcome back to my channel. I am back and good to go, guys. I got my voice back and I'm like, woohoo! <laughs> um, still having to clear my throat a little bit here and there, but I can live with that one. But uh, I want to do a quick update on my Vandas. I have been um, just itching to show you guys um, since I've been soaking them overnight for the last I think it's been over two months now it might we might be close to a three month update on them um, but I want to show you how much difference me soaking them overnight in uh, fertilizer how much difference that this has made with these plants but I'm going to take them down and set them one by one and we'll take a look at them. So hang on and we'll be right back. Alright you guys, we're back. Um, I might go ahead and put in this one too because I've gotten a lot more um, new subscribers. And um, so I might go ahead and, you know, put a list of their names up on the screen. Um, I, I thank you all. I mean, like, you know... I just get so excited every day I see a new thing. I'm like, a new subscriber, new subscriber. And I'm like, yay. Um, so, I mean, it's really coming right along. And um, I really appreciate you all so much. But, um, so, I'll be, uh, I'll roll them up on the screen. That way you can uh, get a look to see. Um, and a couple of them I have to put up um, because they're... <laughs> They're in a language that I just don't know, so I'll have to screenshot and uh, put it on there. But, I mean, you know, I might not be able to say their name or anything, but I'm thankful that they're subscribed to me, and I really appreciate it. So, um, that's a lot why I do roll it on there, too, because there's a lot of them that I really probably couldn't ever say. So, but, um, this Vanda here, this one's one that, um, it has came so far. Um, I don't know if you guys remember, um, back when I showed you, um, like it had lost all of its roots. <clears throat> this is the, uh, Sandiriana. This thing had lost all of its roots and look at what it's doing now. I mean, roots are popping out everywhere. I mean nice big fat root there, a nice big fat root there, and this one, um, there, I got a couple of them going up the, <laughs> up the leaves, which is kind of funny, but, um, I have it in this basket that, um, I got from my sponsor, uh, at the uh, Orchid Supply Store, um, he sells these baskets, and they're, they're awesome for vandas like this. So I thought, well, I'm going to stick my first one in it and give it a try. So I definitely did. Um, but yeah, I mean, you can see, um, I'm not sure if that is a root. You guys see that? It's kind of hard to see down there. I'm not sure what that is. I'm not sure if that's a kiki or a root. I'll have to keep an eye on that and see what that is. It doesn't look so much like but it's a kiki. Trying to get an angle where you guys can see it good. Uh, but it's a kiki. Um, but I mean, just look at those roots. Just look at those. I mean, they look kind of funny. But they're extending. I mean, this was this was broke off right there. You can see. And, um, you know, all of them are starting to extend. And, I mean... It's definitely taken off, and I just put a little bit of husk down in there. Um, and like I said, every night she gets soaked in uh, in my fertilizer water, um, whatever it is. It's usually like 150 parts per million, um, 150 to 200 parts per million of my regular Jack's two-part fertilizer. Um, they soak overnight. I soak them all night until uh, morning, and. Um, I get up and take them out and drip them and let them hang them back up. So let me go grab another one and take a look at it. All right, and here is my pink one that uh, I got from um, Florida when me and my husband went on uh, our honeymoon. Um, I don't think there's a thing I need to say about this one. <laughs> it won't even sit. 
um, because of so many roots. Um, I mean, I literally almost lost this plant. You can tell I was down to, I had four leaves left of this plant on each side and all the rest of this stalk is brand new. Every bit of it, brand new. But, um, I mean, you can't say that soaking it is not helping. I mean, look at that thing. She looks fantastic. Um, she's just a pink, no ID, but she's beautiful. And I'm actually thinking, you know, at the rate it's going, I might actually get to see it bloom again. Boy, wouldn't that be something. But, and she's the same way. I just have her, have her in a different, um, this is a, just a net pot with a um, little bit of husk in there. So, hang on, I'll go to the next one. All right, this one's another one that uh, I can't set it down because um, the root's coming out the bottom, but I have it set up the same way. Um, she's in a net pot with, um, you know, these hooks on it. But definitely, um, you can see the uh, roots popping on her. This is uh, Vanda Atasac citrine um, you can see everything they're lengthening they are um, you know they're doing quite well they they are really I really think soaking them is definitely beneficial I think that it's definitely going to work for me in this environment but there's that one so, if you want to hang on, I'll go grab another one. Okay, this one is the um, one I purchased. Um, this is the white with the pink lip. Um, if I can find the tag. It's actually hiding up under there. Uh, Supatra Delight. Um, and it's definitely, it came with pretty good roots. So, um, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna take the, <laughs> I'm not gonna take the credit for most of these, but I'll take credit for the branching of most of these, because these didn't have the branches, uh, when I first got it, but, um, I mean, I figured, you know, maybe the soaking would just, it would continue to keep on doing good, and obviously, I was right, so... Uh, this little guy here, this is, um, this is the one that, uh, Patrick from, uh, Growing Orchids in Idaho, uh, gifted me, and this one was just this, it had just this root out here, and this one out here, and no branches, so all these branches are my credit, these are from soaking it overnight, every one of these. So, and these, this root was non-existent, um, this little root was non-existent, this one was non-existent, so these all came on afterwards. The little spike is still there, it didn't ever do anything, didn't ever, uh, mount to anything, but, um, I don't know why, I mean, I guess maybe it's just trying to catch back up. But, I mean, overall, I mean, it's doing good and it's branching. Um, so, I thought these were doing really good. Um, so, I went ahead and because they were doing so good, I went ahead and made a purchase. Now, this one's new and I figured, you know what? Since I'm doing good with soaking them overnight, maybe I can get this one to grow. I've seen everybody's had this one and I'm like, you know, I really like that Vanda. And I've put off getting it because... Of the situation with my vandas but I'm thinking now the way things are going I think I might have a chance with this one so hang on let me go get it and I'll be right back all right we are back now um, this one is this was a, probably a kiki off of the mother plant 
which I'm okay with that. I mean, it, it should hopefully do pretty good. Um, it had a lot of roots, so that's why it's in a pretty good size basket. But the, again, this basket come from my um, my sponsor at the Orchid Supply Store. And I figure, you know, this would be the best place for this would be in a basket. So, um, I probably will eventually try to straighten it up and, um, you know, redo it once it gets, you know, starts getting going and getting situated a little better. But, um, I wanted one of these for a long time and one came up pretty reasonable, but it's, uh, Vanda, uh, Maria, 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 Maria. Um, it's so beautiful. It has, um, it has, uh, gorgeous reddish, um, blooms. I'll try to insert a picture, um, if I can find it, but, uh, I really had hoped that I've got my, you know, got a handle on how these guys are growing, so I'm hoping that I can go ahead and, you know, make this one do the same thing so I can keep it, and, um, it's a relatively small Vanda, so, but, um, you know, I think, I think I might be able to do this. I think I might have the, you know, a handle on how to get my Vandas to grow here in West Virginia. So, um, let me know what y'all think, um, in the comments. I mean, see if you really notice a difference after two months, um, two, I think it's two and a half, maybe months, um, you know, and what you think, what y'all's opinions are. I'd love to talk to you about it in the comments and uh, see what y'all think. But for now, um, that's it, guys. Uh, I hope uh, I'm, I'm going to try to go ahead and um, you can let me know that too in the comments if you want to. Um, you know, I was sick last week. Well, I wasn't really sick. I mean, I just my voice was hoarse and I couldn't talk. And I figured there was no sense in me trying to do a video when I sounded like, uh, um, like, uh, Michael McCarthy said I had a mouthful of marshmallows. <laughs> um, but, um, you know, since this Saturday is actually Christmas, um, you know, I don't know whether, um, I should just go ahead and do my weekend walk around or not. Um, I might just go ahead and do it and y'all can watch it when you can, um, I mean, because I'm not going to be going anywhere, not going to be doing anything much. I'm just going to have dinner with my husband, and, um, you know, basically I'll probably be looking for something around here to do, so I'll probably just go ahead and film it. Um, but if you guys would rather me wait, let me know in the comments, and, uh, you know, I'll see what I can't work out. But with that said, I uh, appreciate y'all hanging out with me and uh, looking at my Vandas, and bye for now, y'all, till we meet again.